Competitive Eschatology Interlude 1 An internal memo regarding a theft Below are provided the documents you requested Log of breach at Site 62 on Zero one thirty four hours. Unknown entity manifests outside Site sixty two's main entrance. Security personnel panic and flee. Zero one forty hours. Unknown entity opens Site sixty two's main entrance doors. Video feeds overcome with static for a period of thirty six seconds. Video blackout follows possible route of entity through sight. Zero two zero three hours. Unknown entity reported by personnel. Entity headed towards inanimate SCP storage vaults. Security teams tasked to contain entity. Zero two twenty hours. Security team incapacitated by entity. Entity exits site unopposed. Video interference ceases. Security later universally reports an overwhelming feeling of terror preventing them from acting against the entity. 0310 hours. Inventory check for site 62 reveals the absence of SCP-573. Zero three sixteen hours. Warning sent out to all sites to be on guard for entity. Unknown entity determined to be SCP-303 through forensics and SCP database inquiry. Zero encounters with SCP-303 had been logged since 167 days before containment breach at Site-62. 1817 hours. Personnel at site report feelings of unease and panic as site is situated in the Rocky Mountains. It was put on lockdown while nearby sites were contacted. 1822 hours. All site video feeds disrupted. Power fails. Emergency distress signal activated. 1859 hours. Distress signal deactivates automatically. Sight unresponsive to outside contact. 2011 hours. MTF Alpha 16 arrives at sight. All personnel found dead of evisceration or remain missing. 2113 hours. MTF fails to verify location of anomaly housed at site. SCP-899 declared missing.